Hey guys, it's Kay. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Manjaro 19.12 on your Raspberry Pi 4. OK, to do this project we're going to need the Raspberry Pi 4, a mouse, now I'm going to plug this in via its dongle, a keyboard, power supply for the Raspberry Pi 4, micro HDMI to HDMI cable, and lastly a micro SD card, a minimum of 8GB. I'm using 32GB. Now I'm going to be using Mac OS to flash the software onto the SD card, but you can use Windows, it works perfectly. So Manjaro is one of the few Linus distributions that are not based on Ubuntu, instead it's built on the continually cutting edge Arch Linus. Arch is a great distro, but unfortunately if you want to install it you have to do a lot of work. Manjaro takes all the hassle out of installing Arch, like most distros all you have to do is download the image file and write it to an SD card. Now generally when installing Linux it can be a pain to get all the hardware working, but when you install Manjaro it scans the system and installs all the required drivers. Now the Manjaro team maintains a large software repository. Manjaro users also have access to the Arch user repository. The AUR is made up of user created scripts to install applications, not packaged for Arch or in this case Manjaro. The official Manjaro forum is a great place for new people to find help. They also have forums available in 29 languages for non-English speakers. Ok, moving on now guys, the first thing you want to do is go over to the Manjaro webpage. I've left links in the description below. Click on Features, under your control, and then Downloads. Next click on Additions, then ARM, and then Raspberry Pi 4. Now it's here you get three options. Now I'm going to go for the Plasma version, which is a full desktop experience. Which basically means it's got all the bells and whistles. And it's here, we just click on the download button, and we're on our way. Now it's quite a large file, so it took me about five minutes to download. Now once you've downloaded the Manjaro software image, all you need to do is flash it onto an SD card. Now I'm using a software called Belina Etcher. Again, all links in the description below on where you can get this. Just navigate to where you downloaded the image and select it. Just make sure you have an SD card inserted into your machine. Then it's just a simple case of pressing the flash button. And enter your credentials, and off you go. Now this will take anywhere up to 5 minutes depending on the speed of your machine. Once it's completed the flash, pop it into your Raspberry Pi 4 and watch it boot up. So the first thing you'll be asked to do is select your keyboard type and layout. Now obviously I chose UK. Next it'll ask you to enter a username, and then any additional groups you require. Then enter your full name, I just chose TechFigure again. Enter your password for your username, and then confirm the password for your username. It'll then ask you for a root password, and then confirm the root password. Next you need to choose your time zone, I chose Europe London. And lastly you choose your locale, and then you press OK. And next you need to enter your host name. I chose TechFigure again, I'm sure you see a pattern here guys. Now on the last screen it just asks you to confirm all your passwords and usernames etc. After you've OK that it will just do a quick reboot. Then it's just a matter of typing in your password. And that's it guys, we're ready to explore this new operating system on the Pi 4. Okay, first things first, if we go down to the lower right hand corner and click on this little circle icon, we can see our mouse is attached and also our keyboard is attached. Also gives us the battery status of each item. Now if you select the icon that looks like a Wi-Fi signal, you'll get the option to select your Wi-Fi. Just input your password and you're on your way. Now if we click on the little shield item next to that, it will bring up the package installer. And the first thing I'm going to do is update the Manjaro operating system with all these updated packages. All we need to do is click on the apply button. Now this will probably take another 5 minutes, so sit back and enjoy the ride. And as you can see there's a little status bar on the bottom, that gives you the status of the downloads. Ok, let's take a closer look at the package installer. So click on the icon. So we've got updates, installed, and all the programs that are available. Oh, and fun fact here, we've got RetroArch ready to download. So let's go ahead and download this. I'm going to select all the dependencies. Input my authorization password, and it will give it a few minutes to download. Once it's downloaded, let's take a look under Menu, Games, and there it is. So let's open it up, and there you go guys, it looks like a fairly standard RetroArch installation to me. Looks like we have a full set of features here. Now the last thing I want to show you is finding and installing apps in the package installer. So let's just click on the search icon, and in this instance I'm going to look for GIMP, which is simply just an image manipulation program. Something similar to Photoshop, but a lot more basic. So we click on install, and click apply, get the dependencies, and apply again. 
and then wait for it to download and install. Once it's installed, we go to Menu and Graphics, and there we should see GIMP. So GIMP is one of the best free photo editors and comes with a huge array of professional quality functions for fine-tuning snaps and creating your own artwork from scratch. It includes layers, highly customizable brushes, filters and automatic image enhancement tools and supports for a huge number of plugins. So guys, that was just a quick look at installing and using Manjaro on your Raspberry Pi 4. As you can see, it's very usable, it's very user-friendly, and it's got one of the most stable environments I've seen so far on the Raspberry Pi 4. I highly recommend you give it a go on your Raspberry Pi 4. All links to the software I've used in this video are in the description below. Okay guys, if you enjoyed this video, give us a like, and maybe even subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.